Have you ever heard the term studio magic? Well, GarageBand has magic that simplifies recording and jamming more than ever. Okay, so you got free iPhone ringtones. So that's pretty rad, right? All right, just as I promised, uh, we're gonna move into Magic Garage Band, and that's this section right here. Click on that. Um, over in here, we can um, pretty much Garage Band gives gives like a like a watered down version of the entire program. So if you're in, if you think Garage Band just like a little bit too tough for you. Um, especially if you've gone through all of my interface videos of GarageBand, you can definitely check out Magic GarageBand first, and it can kind of jumpstart you into the whole recording mixing process, and it really, really breaks it and simplifies the whole audio process. And let's just take a quick overview look at it, and then we'll kind of dissect it a little bit, okay? So over in here, um, as you can see, it's kind of labeled or dissected by genres. So we have blues, we have rock, we have jazz, country, reggae, funk, Latin, rock, and show blues. Now, we have to choose a genre that's a part of our spice or, or whatever we're feeling in the moment. And you can actually preview these songs by this, this button right here. You hit the play button on each one of these little discography um, icon thingies. And I'm going to go with funk because, I don't know, I'm usually a rocker dude, but I like how funk is kind of... I think if like rock and jazz had a baby, they would make funk. But that's just my opinion. Anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and hit the preview button and it just automatically plays so we can you can check that out and we're like okay you know what i want to jam out and record to that song you can just hit stop so once you have like your your genre selected you just hit choose and we'll wait for garage band open up and this is our magic garage band session there's no real like tracks involved this is it we have just a stage of our instruments that's what magic garage band does it breaks everything down into giant icons um, such as our instrument um, so to say it's a piano i mean you can pretty much plug in whatever you want you want to plug in a guitar piano bass doesn't matter you can always change the icon but uh this is the basic layout now if we dive right into the bottom right here, it's just a really basic, almost like the, uh, the lessons, such as in guitar and piano. It's a similar format for the timeline, it's just really basic and it, it breaks down each section of the song, like intro, verse, bridge, verse two, and ending. And for our transport section, it's just just a couple options really just a giant record button giant play button and a master track button which i'm gonna lower down just because i'm gonna play the song pretty soon and i don't want to be too loud like we did in the last video ah! anyway okay let's just play the song so we can hear the funk track for a little bit okay Okay, now let's just say you can't, you don't really like the mix and you want to stay on tempo, so you want to hear the drums more. All you have to do is hover over the drums, literally click on the drums, go to the top, click on the down arrow, and boom, you, you have a couple options here. You can solo out the drums, you can mute the drums, and you can raise up the volume for the drums. This goes along with every single one of these instruments on stage here. So you can mix right on stage. And once we have tracked something within our instrument, let's say we jammed out with the rest of the band and we made our own little part after we hit the record button, all you have to do 
if you want to jump it up and really start using real GarageBand, you just hit open in GarageBand. It's loading up. And there it is. It's just the regular GarageBand session with all of our tracks. It already makes all of our tracks. It, it icons all of our tracks. It labels all of our tracks. And we have our audio regions here. And we're good to go. Brief overview of Magic GarageBand. So please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any requests, please send them to requests at mahalo.com. Oh!